Atlanta, Georgia. No, your website. Oh. <laughs> what is it? It's drsampt.com. That's D R S A M P T.com. Mm. So, explain to me your approach to health and healing. Sure, my approach to health and healing is simple. It, it's based on the axiom that health comes from healthful living. Mm -hmm. And it's a mantra that I think if people adopt and they understand and follow that simple philosophy that they'll have optimal health and well-being. Mm -hmm. So in that axiom, there is a system that I call the chain of health. And it's made up of eight links. And those links are food, air, water, light, rest, activity, hygiene, and loving relationships with yourself, others, and nature. Mm -hmm. So when somebody's struggling, the biggest key is to find the weakest link and fix the weakest link first. Mm -hmm. Because like the old adage says, as strong as this, a chain, excuse me, as strong as its weakest links. So if you find the weak link and fix that one first, you'll get the fastest uh, results that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And when someone comes to see you, what's your approach? Like what do you do with the consultation? Well, the consultation, I take a history on the person, so I get a general idea of what they've been through, mind, body, spirit wise. Then I also do a hands-on assessment so that I can figure out where their structural blocks are in their body. And I do a movement assessment, and that's watching them move, such as simple everyday things like squatting, bending, lunging, twisting, pushing, pulling. And I can determine where their imbalances are there, so that way I have something to work with to help fix them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and for me personally, cranial therapy has been incredibly powerful. people aren't aware of the benefits and what it can do, not only to change the posture, but to actually change the way your brain functions. Um, yeah, what's your experience with that? Yeah, cranial, the craniosacral work is very powerful. The craniosacral system is basically the bones of the skull and the sacral area, the dural tube that's in between those, which is like the saran wrap that goes around the brain's spinal cord, and all the fluid that runs through that system, which is in turn the golden elixir of life, mm -hmm. because it bathes the brain and spinal cord and it provides it nourishment. Mm -hmm. So when that system is functioning optimally, then people's health is definitely more optimal. And when it's not functioning, they're definitely operating at a sub uh, optimal level. Yeah. Yeah, for me it was um, just so extreme in my neck that I literally felt like it wasn't on right. And I grew up being really paranoid about it because you think, well, if my neck's twisted, so to speak, there's nothing you can do to fix it. But I've realized that you can. It's so powerful and it's really changed my life. And I just think people need to look into it more and see if they've got any sort of structural um, misalignment. Absolutely. If, if there's truly a structural problem, then it will help. Mm -hmm. It comes down to, if I had to sum things up in a two-step process of, of correcting any problem, it's as simple as this. Find the causes of the problem, find and fix the causes of the problem, and, and establish the conditions of health. Mm -hmm. So once you remove the cause and establish the conditions of health, there's no reason your body shouldn't heal, mm -hmm. unless you just pushed it past the point of no return. Yeah. But the body's pretty resilient. So in the cranial work, if if there is a structural issue that you can find and, and remove it, then the body will correct itself. Mm -hmm. But that issue could be somewhere distant from where the symptoms are, so that's really important to understand. Very often people come to me that have headaches and I'm working on their tailbone end because that's yeah. what the cause is. Mm -hmm. The symptoms are you know, on the other end. And the analogy there would be a noose. If you put a noose around somebody's neck and I say, where's the problem? They, they're pointing like this, grabbing at the noose to know the problem's up there. Mm -hmm. Tell the person to stop pulling on it mm -hmm. and you won't feel it down here, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's the opposite end that usually is to be looked at very often to remove the cause and then people's symptoms go away. Mm -hmm. And where do you think most of these problems start? Like is it from a birth thing or injury? Or it, it can be. Since they, they stop using forceps, uh, not completely, but they they don't use forceps as much as they mm -hmm. used to. And forceps delivery babies definitely tend to have more things like torticollis that, that you mentioned, twisted neck. And other, oh yeah, <laughs> called torticollis, rye neck, you know, or someone's like this, mm. and other issues with with the forceps. Just grabbing the cranial bones and shifting them can create even you know behavioral disorders yeah, and, yeah, and, sure. and all kinds of yes, mm -hmm. all kinds of other issues. So 
Um, it definitely gives you birth trauma. Even the C sections are, you know, they can have their issues. The analogy there Take is, them out. yeah, the analogy of the C section too. If they cut and then and the baby comes to the surface, it's almost like coming up too quick, yeah. quick when you're scuba diving, yeah. which they tell you not to do because it's a pressure change. So that it definitely gives you birth trauma. It definitely could be childhood traumas. People, kids just have accidents, fall yeah. off bikes oh, and yeah. fall, you know, yeah. off lofts and down ladders and hills and hit their head off, mm -hmm. the, off their um, toys and whatever. So that can occur. Emotional things are just as significant, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's childhood or adult. People shut down um, when they're emotionally abused as well. Yeah. And so they tend to develop postures that are protective. Yeah, and they go into this right. very protective posture. Mm -hmm. And that can have a constant pulling, let's say on someone's head or neck or their low back area and create a problem. Yeah. There's no doubt that when you do the work, you see some huge emotional releases in people. And people actually relive traumas right on the table. And yeah. it's fascinating. And when that stuff is finally brought to consciousness, to a conscious level and let go of, the major results are, are seen in the kind of thing. So it definitely can be structural, it can be emotional, it can be spiritual, it can even be metabolic. Mm -hmm. And that would be the diet and lifestyle stuff. Mm -hmm. People just have such poor diet and lifestyle that their structure suffers. There's a great axiom in, in osteopathic uh, philosophy that structure governs function and that function maintains structure. So if you, if you have structural issues that um, are apparent, you're going to see functional problems and vice versa. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where I see um, I see a lot happening there. And when you first see someone, can you kind of look at them and think you know, they're big or they're helping you out just by the way they can hold Oh, yeah. Them? Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's been 15 years of looking at people, and, and you get pretty good at something after 15 years mm -hmm. if you're committed to it, mm -hmm. anything. And, yeah, if someone's just kind of approaching me, I, I've already start doing an assessment, which is actually better, because then they're not conscious of it, they're not like, oh, I stand like this, yeah. and they really yeah. don't, yeah. so, yeah, you can lead them and pick up on this mm. real quick. Because what people don't realize is, you know, when you have your cranial sorted out, or just the general sort of alignment in your body, it can actually change the shape of your face. Because you see yeah. someone who's got a good eye, you can notice that one side is slightly different to the other with the symmetry, and it can be because of how it's kind of grown from um, the lack of the, the fluid flowing properly, is that right? It could be, yeah, just nutrition is poor on one side versus the other. And also, uh, Wolf's Law, Julian Wolf is a researcher, and Wolf's Law states that bone shapes itself based on the stress it's put on it. So if you have more pull on one side than the other, then yeah. the bone's going to thicken more on one side than the other. I don't know that anyone's perfectly symmetrical, but yeah, you can definitely see a see difference, difference sometimes and see a, a change yeah. when the work is done. I had a, when I first was taking the cranial uh, instructions at a seminar, I was working with my boss at the time, who was a pain specialist, and when I, after day two from working on her, her retainer didn't fit in her mouth anymore. Wow, that's so yeah, so we I mean we were like, okay, well there's proof. I mean she'd been wearing it every night, just mm. as a night kind of thing. She'd wear it to for correction and after day two her retainer didn't mm. fit. So she didn't fire me, you know. She said I was forgiven, so because <laughs> we knew going into the course it was a possibility and we just didn't really think it would happen that fast, but it did. Mm -hmm. So it was wild. Yeah, I know it's a big difference the first time I had it, I got up off the table and I was like, Wow, I just feel that tension in that pain down here anymore. Incredible. Um, but when you explain the treatment to people, because you do it a little bit more intensively than what I'm used to, um, but it's still a very soft kind of treatment. And when you explain that to people, they think, how can that be effective? How can that actually change the way your body is? And yeah. Oh, well. My treatment philosophy has been, since very, very beginning of my career, it's about precision, not force. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. that's how it works. If you are pushing on the right places and reading the body correctly and lurking with it, not against it, you'll get the changes you want. Yeah. So a lot of the work I do, even though at times it can get intense and people can feel some discomfort, it's always guided by their body, not mine. Yeah. And so at first they don't believe that because it feels like I'm twisting them or moving them, but I'm not. Their body's pulling me that way and I'm just facilitating the process. Mm -hmm. And proof of that is people are, are very intrigued by the positions they can get in 
that they never thought they could get in. Yeah. And I said, exactly. Yeah. If I put you there, you'd be screaming. Yeah. But since you went there, the body's okay with this on mm -hmm. its own. And when you're actually doing it, what signs are you like waiting for, or listening for, so you know that it's okay to to go with that side? Well, the body will just literally direct my hands. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in terms of blockages, everyone's a little different. But what I'm what I'm looking for overall is a pulsing sensation. Mm -hmm. Now, in the craniosacral world, they call that the cranial rhythmic impulse yeah. or the craniosacral pulse, and it's it used to be believed it's based on the cerebral spinal fluid moving up and down the spine, creating this. There's been some other theories that have come out since then that say, well, maybe it's this that creates the pulse. But the bottom line is, when something's pulsing, it's healthy. When it's not, it's not healthy. So in any joint of the body or any particular area of the body, I'm looking for a pulse. And when I don't feel that, I know there's a blockage there. Yeah, and you have to try and find out where that is and then right. sort of stimulate that. So yeah, that well, yeah, like I said, again, facilitating the process to bring movement back through that area so it starts to pulse again. And then I'll know there's a change because I can feel that. Mm -hmm. And then usually I use pre and post testing with functional things such as movements. So it's easy. People cannot... Um, fake whether they can squat better, bend better, lunge better, or move their head better. See what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to fake that for me. It's either they can or they can't. So it's very black and white whether it made a difference or not with most people because you can measure it with a change in function. Even someone's jaw, they open it and it goes crooked and then you get yeah. done with them and they open it and it goes straight and it doesn't right. pop and they stop getting headaches or they stop being anxious or they sleep better. These are measurable things. Yeah. And that's, that's the type of measurements I like to do to validate whether the work is truly working for the person or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, my jaw was terrible on the right side whenever I went to sleep, I'd just clench it. Um, but now it's so much better. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, can I ask you? Oh, so you've written a manual? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the um, third edition of the manual, and the fourth edition just came out, so if you order it, you'll get the most updated edition. And the manual is basically step-by-step -step approach of how to recover from injury and illness in the safest, fastest, uh, usually most natural and most affordable way possible. And it's broken down into uh, four or five different parts and it covers an overview of health and disease. It, there's a section on natural laws of healing, which is very important. Uh, there's 10 principles of healing in there. There is a Q&A section, which I answer God knows how many questions in there. And then the last section is a self-help section. It has a bunch of different kinds of worksheets and things you can apply in the manual that will help you uh, get the results you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very nuts and bolts thing. There's no fluff in here. And like I said, the, the latest edition is great. It's, it's got some things that have been updated since this one, and then I think it's even that much more powerful. RevolutionaryRehab.com. Um, is the website that's revolutionary r e v o l u t i o n a r y r e h a b dot com and there's a link to that site from my main site that we mentioned at the beginning which is drsampt.com d r s a m p t dot com so definitely the manual is is a awesome resource it does have a money back guarantee eight weeks you're not happy then you know you don't have to keep it all right so you're out nothing so give it a chance because I think the only thing you have to lose is your poor health. <laughs>